tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and for those who have been following the channel for a long time, you know that I am a major fan of LEGO Ninjago. For me, being a fan of Ninjago means collecting every single set, displaying them from my ceiling, watching and reviewing the show, and of course, with collecting every set, there does come a lot of oddities, and I think I may just have gotten the strangest LEGO Ninjago poly bag yet. So what is this? Well, this was a promotional poly bag that was only given out or sold in Europe around the time of Ninjago Sons of Garmadon. It includes very few actual Lego pieces, buildable chopsticks, a cardboard cutout of Ninjago Movie Garmadon, a foam shuriken, as well as a couple of different pieces to stack and throw targets at. It is such a weird poly bag that I figured this deserved a review of its own. And so, let's now jump into a review of set number 5005231. This is just some random Ninjago promotional poly bag from 2018. Definitely one of the strangest pieces of Ninjago products that I've ever gotten. So this is quite interesting. This is a Ninjago Sons of Garmadon poly bag, which doesn't actually include really anything related to Ninjago in terms of the builds themselves, but comes with a couple of different cardboard cutouts, a foldable stand for target practice, a throwable ninja star or one of Zane Shurkins, as well as buildable chopsticks and a pile of bricks. So what is the story? What are you supposed to do with this? So there's actually a number of different things that they actually advise you to do in the instruction manual itself. So first of all, the manual is super simple. It just has you literally put together a ton of different random blocks, but there are some instructions in terms of what you can actually do with this, which is a pretty interesting thing. So I think that the idea here is that, at least as far as I can tell, you are supposed to use your chopsticks to stack blocks, and I guess you get more points if they are all fully stacked and don't land on the sides. I don't know, okay, that's an interesting thing to do. Uh, you can also choose to try to balance the Bionicle Xamar Sphere, or the just standard sphere element right here on your hands like that, so I guess it's asking you to try to jump over something or step over pillows while holding it. What a bizarre, like this is such a weird instruction manual, but yeah, that's the idea behind this game. For this one, it is fairly straightforward. You can see Garmadon and you are supposed to throw the ninja star at him. I really appreciate the inclusion of the classic Lego do not hit yourself in the eye with this picture. And then here are apparently instructions on how to do spinjitsu. I didn't know that you could do that, but now, I mean, thank you Lego, I now know how to do spinjitsu. So this is fantastic, I cannot wait to use this against my enemies. And then that's it. Strangely enough, it doesn't actually advertise being able to prop up the target here and use it as target practice, but maybe that one was self-explanatory. Then again, you could also say that throwing the star at Garmadon is also self-explanatory, but I mean, we can now try out some of the mini games. but what a weird thing to see here. This is fully foam, so it's just kind of a foam piece. I actually really like this because it is very clearly the Lego Ninja Star Shuriken piece that Zane uses, so it kind of feels like your own little mini version. I actually do like that it's smaller than minifigure scale, like the minifigure one, like the whole hand clips around here, but this is actually a more realistic human-sized throwing star, like if anything it's a little bit big, so I actually think this is pretty cool. Let's see if we can focus up on Garbodon here. All right, there we go. That actually is pretty light. Like, when I was throwing this, I was actually surprisingly light. And then you can do that and knock over the different targets. It's just pretty much a fun game for kids to be able to play around with. But yeah, just a really bizarre and strange thing to have included in a poly bag. Like, this was literally inside the poly bag itself. Now I think the goal is to take this, put it down. It says to remove this element here and literally use these as chopsticks. Oh my goodness, I'm exposing myself because I am awful at using chopsticks, but... I think what I'm supposed to do, oh, okay, well, what you're supposed to do is stack the bricks up like so, but they're so slippery, like maybe I'm just bad at this, but I'm having some significant trouble picking these up with the chopsticks I've been given here, so they're just Technic pins, uh, or Technic axles, I mean, and you're supposed to, come on, you're supposed to pick this up. Okay, this cannot be just me, like, this feels like nearly impossible to get, like, I can't even pick this up at all. Um, I mean, you could kind of cheat and, like, go like that, but I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, and now it's, like, stuck in the axle, so... Yeah, I don't really know what LEGO was cooking with this one. This is... I feel like if I was a kid... Okay, there we go. So I got, I got it. There we go. So, it's not impossible. But if I was a kid, I feel like this would really frustrate me. But maybe that's the challenge. Like, you're supposed to, to make it a challenge to try to stack these. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to do that because I'm doing very poorly. But essentially what you're supposed to do is stack each and every one of these blocks upwards, which is already hard enough to make them balance by hand. I can only imagine, like, stacking this with chopsticks. Like, that's gonna be really hard. Um, but you're supposed to stack it on tower, and if any fall, you just get less points. Maybe you're supposed to start here and then remove them. That might be it. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe. I don't know. This is a very, very weird thing for LEGO to do. Uh, so that was minigame number one. And if you attach on the rubberized Technic joint here, I think the next thing you're supposed to do is kind of walk around while having this be balanced. So you're supposed to, like, jump over some stuff while balancing the Xamarosphere. I guess it's a way to kill time. Like, yeah, that's, that's something that you could do. Um, kind of reminds me of some of the older, like, little classic style of games where you have to make a ball rest at a certain point. But otherwise, I honestly don't even have that much to say about this bizarre Ninjago polybag. It is probably one of the strangest pieces of Ninjago merchandise I have ever gotten. And I buy a lot of strange Ninjago merch, but I feel like this one takes the cake. It is so weird, the eclectic assortment of different things included. The printout of movie Garmadon in the Sons of Garmadon style of print. Like, you've got, like, the ink splotches and the graffiti marks behind him, but it is the movie version of Garmadon right there, so... That is quite interesting to see. And then, of course, you just have this target symbol right here, which is what that looks like. It's just a Lego Ninjago print there. And that's pretty much all there is to say about this model. It is... I don't even know if I would call it a model. Honestly, I think the best analogy I can make is that this, to me, feels like the physical version of a web game, like a Flash game or a web game, that LEGO would put online for kids to just kill time that doesn't really have that much to do with Ninjago, but it's just... A random thing to kill time but yeah this is the poly bag i do not have really any information on where or when this was released i purchased this off of bricklink very recently and just happened to get it in the mail i always knew it existed because i saw it on brickset but i was always wondering like what exactly is the deal with this thing and that is what it is set number five zero zero five two three one it is some sort of a sons of garmadon ninja training poly bag and yeah, just like showcasing these bizarre and weird LEGO instructions and LEGO poly bags. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at maybe the strangest Ninjago item I now have in my collection. And let me know in the comments if you own this. What has been your experience with it and how did you even get this if you do own this? Of course, I can't publish a video without trying out Spinjitsu for myself. Oh my goodness, I'm about to learn an ancient martial art here. Stand back, everybody, because this is going to be a pretty powerful thing. Okay, so... I don't really know which one I'm supposed to start with. I, okay, it looks like I start on the ground. Let's see, let's see, let's see if I can make this happen. Okay, so, move number one. Oh, all right, all right. All right, you know what? You know what? Kai didn't get it right on the first time as well. Actually, Jay was the first one to do spinjitsu, so you know what? And he had a lot of practice. Let's let's try that one more time. Okay. Whoa. 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 Okay. And there you have it. Spinjitsu has been performed. Easy work, easy work. I should just become a member of the Ninja Team now. All right, with that, we have summed up our look at this Ninjago promotional poly bag. What a weird and bizarre Lego set. Certainly one of the most interesting ones that I have definitely seen them put out. Now, there are some even stranger ones that I am still on the hunt for. I know that there is a Ninjago fidget spinner poly bag from the Ninjago movie featuring printed tiles of the Ninjago movie characters. Still on the hunt for that one, so that is a very interesting thing I definitely want to get my hands on. But overall, this is by far the strangest piece of Ninjago merch that personally I've gotten, at least in Lego set form, because Ninjago has a lot of merch. That's all for today's quick video on this bizarre Ninjago polybag. Hope you enjoyed our look at a weird and random Ninjago set. Thanks so much for tuning in, and bye for now.